So uh, speaking of like incredible women, uh, I'd love to welcome Nicole up. Uh, Nicole's going to share with us a couple of different tools that she uses to do uh, AI for data. Um, and then um, we'll be uh, uh, wrapping up with uh, some exciting news and exciting announcements. Okay, I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. And I'm going to share with you um, Microsoft BI. And I know this is used in businesses that are smaller and not super small, but I've worked with companies and they use Microsoft BI and this is business intelligence. And I would always have to ask a developer to make the reports for me because they would have to know how to code to pull it out of a SQL database. And I couldn't just do it myself. And I went to the Microsoft conference last week um, virtually and this was in one of the sessions, and this is something that I was really excited about. And this is how they have integrated Copilot into BI. And this makes, this is like baby steps into um, understanding your analytics of your business a bit better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this. And I do hope that the sound com comes through. Let me know if it's not, like raise your hand, Dan. And still interact directly oh. with the Power BI Copilot and Power BI is empowering everyone to quickly find and share insights. For example, say I'm a sales analyst for a hotel and resorts company. Now with Copilot and Power BI, I can simply describe the report I want to build and get insights in seconds. Maybe we need a new report to help us understand the profile of our customers to gain insights into what is driving return visits to our properties. I just describe what I need and Copilot will automatically analyze my data and create a new report based on my needs. Immediately, Copilot created a new Power BI report that is fully interactive and I can start slicing and dicing my data to explore deeper. Copilot added the charts and slicers I requested, but also conveniently gives me options to adjust the output to get just what I'm looking for. For example, Let's switch to ask for metrics and trends and a slightly different layout. Automatically, Copilot updates the report. Let's go ahead and keep this report page, but it goes much further. I can also ask analysis questions such as, what are the main drivers for repeat customer visits? Copilot responds by adding a new page to my report and uses Power BI's built-in advanced analysis capabilities for finding key influencers for variables in my data. Right away, I can see that customers who purchase spa visits are the most likely to be repeat visitors, followed by those who rented sports equipment. I can easily explore Power BI's key influencer visual further to learn more. I can even automatically see the most significant segments in my data just by clicking. Now let's go back to the first page and finish up our new report. I'm going to ask Copilot to make it look like our existing sales dashboard. Copilot automatically finds and references the dashboard to adjust my report with formatting and layout to match. Best of all, I can still interact directly with the Power BI report Copilot has created. So for example, if I wanted to manually change this line chart to add the reason customers were visiting, it's easy to do with just a few clicks. Let's also change the line chart to a ribbon chart to make the data really stand out. Finally, to make the report even easier for my team to understand, I'm going to ask Copilot to add a rich text description of my data right inside the report. This narrative summary is fully dynamic, and not only does Copilot highlight interesting insights for my data, but it provides citations from where in the report the data was taken. This summary will update every time the data is refreshed, or people filter the report with new insights based on the data. And just like that, in seconds, I've created a report that would have taken hours or days to do manually. Copilot, built on top of Azure Open AI, is truly revolutionary for. Okay, so we had questions. Does this work? Like, do, do you have to be in Microsoft environment to do it? And you absolutely do for their Power BI because it's a Microsoft tool. And there are other tools that do this with your data that you can pull it into. Now, Monkey Learn has been around since, I don't know, 2015 or maybe even earlier. And now Monkey Learn has this sort of ability as well, well where it pulls in your data and 
uh, Monkey Learn is relatively affordable too, and it will give you those customer insight kind of reports as well. Um, and they have been using AI for a lot of different functions for nearly a decade. Um, so there are a number of tools, but Monkey Learn, it doesn't matter where your data is, it can pull it in. So this is something that that anybody can use. Um, and they're known for being super flexible of what information they'll pull in. So this is the analytics. Like we talked about the different kind of analysis. This isn't predictive. This is your past customer behavior. This is what has been going on. And I want to get into predictive a little bit more. I'm going to share a different screen. And so this is a big tool that can feel overwhelming to some people and um, contains a lot of information. I'm going to get down to a specific predictive tool that is still kind of a bit more expensive and super powerful. And then I'm going to get into something that you can try today for free that anybody can do. 